Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now um, I've been asked by a friend of mine to look at his Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. Now I have taken it apart. Um, he has a problem with the button here at the back and the buttons on this side as well. So the RB button these two. Now after looking at it there is some damage to the button itself on the inside. Um, so we've had to order a new replacement board I have the board here okay so join me in taking this Xbox Elite Series 2 controller apart and fixing it and making sure it works afterwards um, before I actually take it apart I will connect it to the PC and I will show you the error it has. So I've plugged the control into the PC and as you can see pressing the buttons nothing actually works. The R buttons at the back and that so this is the profile he had it set on because of the RB buttons not working. Uh, if I press it nothing. The D-pad does work mouse area works but yeah it doesn't work so okay so go back to the video now and take it apart okay right get some tools out and start opening this controller up and shut it down There we go. Main tops off. We have to undo these one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Also, I've been said by the person that's asked me to fix this. If I do successfully fix this, they're going to give me their Xbox Series X console to look at because it has a heating problem. So it most really needs just a really good clean out. Take apart, clean it, do the thermal paste on it and that as well. So yeah, it's another video in the making. Now why I've got this like this, I'm going to undo these because I will need to take these off as well. One. When I first took these apart the other day they was really solid. Couldn't quite hard to take them apart but yeah this time it's easier now all you do is just lift that out of there no need to take off the back buttons or anything like that just lift it straight out that's the battery pack and the connectors for the buttons at the back right that to one side now here you have 
to take this off, put this over here. If the thread in it, some people do actually unsolder these cables from here. I'm not going to do that. Um, as I said, I've already been into this controller to try and find out what the problem was. So, really, I am just going to. Oh, a bit. Need this more a bit. Undo these. Undo these here. And then lift it up. So it's just literally two screws to take off here now. One and two. Second one being over here. And then over there. Now this is actually plugged in to a little clip under here. So just get a, one of the pry tools to lift that up. If you lift it up, I'm going to do something else first. I'm going to unclip this off as well. This is the that's the earphone socket that always falls out. So if you unclip them, there they move those back, and it's actually quite easier to lift this off and just move it out of the way. Headphone socket put to one side. You're gonna need that later. And now it's literally one, two, three, four screws to remove down the bottom here. Do be careful when removing this board because there's buttons underneath. It can lift the buttons up and out. Two. Three. And the fourth screw, which is tucked underneath here. This one's slightly harder. Four. This will now just lift up. It's got a guideline over there. But there you go. That's that. So this is the damage board. I'm gonna put that to one side. And get this board out. in there mm. Number two, start tightening these right down. Yeah, I want all four screws in place before I start tightening them down. Number three, and number four. Magnetic screwdrivers are great, but they can be a little pain sometimes. So four screws, just gonna make sure they're all locked back down. Two, three, four. As I said, don't forget your headphone socket. Which 
just that just literally sits there that doesn't go anything else now make sure you get this on the little guidelines and the two Wi-Fi cable oh, Wi-Fi they're actually the um the connector cable aren't they for the so it connects to the to the board the, the control of the thing so pull the cables out now we can turn this around Right, they're connected. Now let's put the two screws back in here, which is one here and one there. This is not the first time I've looked at one of these controllers. So, yep. They're not pretty complicated to fix. Make sure that sits down properly. Like it has done, yep. I was looking at actually repairing the other board, but I couldn't get the piece I needed to repair it, so that's why I didn't. Um. Mm. Stick a bit back over that. Right. Now we need to connect the, the top holder for the buttons. Now there's no special way of doing this. I, I've, I've done this a few times and I haven't found a special way. Just finger hold that button down, slide it on and try and get it onto that first clip. Like slow, hold the other button down, clip it into place, and that's it. Right, I've seen my little piece has fallen off. back clip is in place now get your battery pack slide this down holding the buttons back slightly as you drop it into place like so at this point you can go ahead and screw this back on one off, screw the other one back on six screws so let's just actually I want to try something, I've got a new piece from my um... So I've got this Black & Decker drill, but this tool set I got come with an attachment. See, I can actually put that in, 
put that into there and do this. It's not very practical for this job, obviously. Because you don't want to go too hard. But hey. Drops the screw in there. I'll edit that bit out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that. <laughs> I reckon that'd be great for other bits and pieces, like maybe when you're taking a console part or something like that. But yeah, not for this job at the moment. Okay, so that's all back. Let's get a top piece. Now his control is pretty knocked up, as you can see. But anyway, right, let's plug this baby back in. Right, so I've got Formula One loaded up. I've got the control in front of me. So I'm gonna just go to track and do a flying up. It's raining, so don't expect much from me here. I'm a bit hot into that corner. That's working lovely here. Let's do donuts in the Formula One car, there you go. But as you can see, all the controls are now working. Uh, it's running pretty well. So yeah, pretty happy with this. Pretty glad it's working. Um, thanks for joining us for the video. And as I said, um, now that i fixed his controller, he might give me a shot at looking at the heating problem he's got on his Xbox. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos for more up and coming action. See you guys later. Bye bye.